2kmos.tv Take 7 Solid Family NSYNC Productions Looking in the mirror when I started out as Mamba Most Most underrated pick of games rocking coast to coast Pulling up on competition rocking with the random This my journey to the top and this shit is my anthem Hey, what's up? Hey, it's your host, Mos, Mamba Mos, of course, and welcome to Mamba Mos TV. Now, if you're new to this, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button and notification button so you can stay up to date everything NBA 2K. All right, so today I'm going to get into my wish list for 2K21. And I know some of you are thinking like, well, why are we talking about 2K21 when we're right now currently on 2K20? Well, if you have been playing the past 2Ks, you already know the days at this point pretty much gives up on, you know, the current version. They start looking at the other version. Now, this is a good thing, especially with the new systems that's coming in with the Xbox and PS5, the Xbox Series X. Because we know this year is going to be a bi it should be a big leap in gameplay. Definitely should be a big leap in uh, graphics. So the reason I want to talk about 2K21 and I'm hoping that the devs are actually finished and polishing up this game as, as we speak. But I want to talk about 2K21 because I hope this actual video gets back to them some type of way. Or a comment that, that's going to be commented down below. It's going to get back to these devs and they can take some of these things serious. And I know I'm not the first one to make, make a wish list. For 2k21 and i'm not going to be the last one so i have a couple things i want to say some things that they should consider some things they should just sit down and actually work on and, and I, I will hope that they actually build this game from ground up for each system let's stop taking these we, we still taking the files from four and five years ago and we're just putting stuff over it that's why we continue to have these bugs these demi demigod glitches and these VC glitches and tattoo glitches, clothes glitches, is because they're using the same, you know, files and they're just updating here and there. All right. So the first thing I want to talk about, the first thing we have to be serious, if we're going to talk about NBA 2K21 and what they need to improve, we have to start with my career. Now, I'm going to put out my disclaimer. I'm not going to talk about the play nows and, and the my team and stuff like that because I don't play those. I used to be really big into play now, but I don't do that anymore. Um, I play here and there from time to time when I want to play with the Magics. But I'm not going to talk about those today. I'm going to talk about one of the biggest, I mean, I'm going to talk about the actual biggest mode. And you know, it's the My Career. So we're going to start off with the My Career, man. My My Career wish, my My Career wish is that they improve the storyline. It needs to, it needs to not be so linear because it doesn't matter if you have you on your first build or your tent build you're still going to go through the same linear you know scenes and scenarios and stuff like that it needs to be more of an rpg -ish style type you know maybe you can walk around in a little area some walk in you know to a building and, and and buy some clothes or something like that or you know go out and maybe buy a house or something like that buy some vehicles make it more fun more interactive for you know for the consumers and stuff that actually buys this game because the linear stuff, it, it, it's, it's, it dries out. And we already know that all the scenes ends in the first season. You get in that second and third season, I mean, that's I mean that's it. It becomes boring. If people stop grinding the game, you're going to, you're going to, you, for me, I knew that was going to happen this year. So that's why I grinded the first two, three weeks, got my play up to a 99 and hit the park immediately. Because I knew it was going to be boring. It's just too tedious. It's too tedious. And people are getting tired of actually going in there playing the game and then you get your overall and then you go to another game and play another game and then you get your overall that's get very boring and you can actually kind of see it now <laughs> on this date because you see all these guys that are coming out to the park and they're rookies and they're you know elites legends pros and they're coming out with 60 and 70 overall bills and the reason is because my career is so damn boring need to improve my career 
All right, while we're still talking about my career, the AI in my career has to be fixed. There is no way that these professional NBA players should be playing like varsity teams. Actually, some varsity teams are playing better than some, some of these NBA teams in this game. The AI is just so dumb. It is so frustrating that you, starting out your career as a 70 overall, is better than Kawhi Leonard and LeBron James and all that stuff because they do dumb stuff. There's no way these guys should be playing like rookies. They should be playing. Their likeness should be in my career. Now, I don't know if that was a glitch this past year or what, but it was. the AI is very terrible. It is very terrible. They do some of the dumbest crap, man. Need to, need to, need to fix that. All right, the next thing in my career, some of the things we need to work on is, damn, Hall of Fame. It, seems, it don't matter what mode you're on, it seems like your opponents are always on that Hall of Fame mode. And that may be why, <laughs> that may be why you're playing like crap when you're trying to play on pro or all-star because regardless of what you put it on your opponents is always going to be on the hall of fame they can pretty much do everything they can lock you down it does not matter if it's if it's patrick beverly or fucking austin rivers you're going to get locked down you're going to get scored on it's just crazy like that that has to change it needs to be realistic i mean it's an nba this is an nba game so it needs to be more realistic All right, let's move out. We're gonna move out to the actual park. Now, we talking about the park. There's a hundred things I can talk about when it comes to the park, park gameplay. The first thing you need to improve is the designs. These designs that's around the park, that's in this current park, it's too 2010. You know the graffiti is kind of off it looks like it's childish it looks like a kid just painted on the wall man and it came out to be something uh the layout is is, is too bulky it, it's a small area but it's so bulky and that's why i think it tends to you know lag and slow down you get all these billboards that's around here that are flashing and, and we have to go back to what we remember with windows like when you have all this stuff flashing on your screen how your computer tends to slow down I think that is some of the issues that 2K is dealing with. They have so many, st so much stuff going on in the park, and you got the day and night cycle that is slowing down the lag. We gotta fix the design, optimize that design so we can have less lag. Now, talking about lag in general is, is I could talk about lag for the next 30 minutes to probably the next 30 hours. So. I don't think they need to take the themes out. I think the themes are cool. They just need to optimize these themes, man. Like, optimize these themes. I, I miss 2K19. <laughs> I miss 2K19 um, servers, man. It was so much better. So much better, man. You don't have to worry about all this lag. Like, we're all so used to fighting this lag that we that we have mastered fighting lag. We already know there's going to be a delay on the shot when you shoot it. There's going to be one or two second delay. You already know when you're going to hit a shot or you're going to miss a shot. Because if you press that button, if you don't immediately go up within 0.5 to 1 second, you're going to miss a shot because it's hard to time that delay. we got to fix that delay. Got to get new service, 2K. That's the solution. Get new servers. Update your servers. All right, let's talk about more park play look this year y'all promised us that hey nobody was going to be running because this rep system is so great that you're going to want to play your opponent you want to going to play to higher up the competition so you can get more rep well i'm sorry 2k but that was an epic fail and i'm living that life of coming out to the park and waiting two hours and getting only four to five games people are still running because the incentive to play against comp is just not there something something needs to change something needs to change i don't know i don't know specifically what needs to change but something i'm, I'm more of on the match matchmaking i think the park should be just for fun games then i think you should have a system like when you go into this building and you go in and you and you mat and go into the match excuse me the matchmaking and that's when you get your reps and your rank and your overall you have to go play against comp to get that because there's too many people running there's too many rookie servers 
around here where people are just running from each other. It's comp that is running from each other because they're trying to preserve a record. Now, I don't care if you even you could get rid of the records, to be honest. You can get rid of the records and the rep and just let it, hey, this is a build and this is the gamer tag. You go to that, then people, who they know who to run, who to run from? Everybody has the potential of being great. All right. The next thing. There's too many people in the park that just sits around. I'm sick and tired of trying to get to my friend's park. Or my homeboy's park. And I can't get in there because it's full. Because half of the people inside the damn server is just standing there. It irks my nerve when some when I know that somebody's turning on their Nintendo Switch. Just to come in there and put their player inside of a server and sit there. Comp dodging. And literally will sit there for 30 minutes to an hour until they can find them a decent game to run up to. That has to end. That being idle too long, that time needs to shorten. I feel like if you haven't gotten game in a certain time, you should get kicked. So people that's actually that wants to play, the comp, or those actual rookie that wants to just play and have fun, will have an opportunity to get into those lit servers. Alright, let's talk about gameplay. Gameplay, man. Uh, we need to go back to where it was fun. <laughs> bring back the 2K19 dribble style. Let's bring it back. This 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 dribble system this year is so damn dull. It's it's so hard to put combinations together. Which I have mastered a couple combinations with my build, but it shouldn't be that hard. It is so hard to do combinations. They took around. They took out the back behind the back cheese. Man, it's it's just normal gameplay. It makes it not fun. You need to bring back that 2K19 dribble system. I'm I'm just down for it. And honestly, a lot of people ain't talking about this. They need to bring back the 2K19 catch and shoot system. The catch and shoot system in this 2K20 is horrible. When you get the ball, somebody pass you the ball. There is a damn gather, that's almost a second long. And then you already know you got that lag and delay to when you press the actual button. There's another second. I, I'm telling you, I am not lying to you. Sometimes I slip the button, man. I get that ball, and it takes me almost two seconds to take the shot. But guess who's not lagging? That defender that can get to you. That's why you get so many contested shots. Like, bring back that catch and suit system from 2K19. Bring back that dribble system from 2K19. All right, next, defense, 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 defense. Defense this year has been underpowered. Offense has been overpowered. And I really don't, I really don't, can't say that offense has been overpowered. I can say defense has been definitely underpowered. For some reason, offensive player has the over, has the advantage over defenders. And you could be a pure lockdown defender. You know, I play with a two-way, three-level facilitator, and I have over 25 defensive badges and these guys come out here with these 10 to 12 offensive badges and look like God sometimes because the offense is too overpowered slashers slashers are the most powerful I don't care what anybody say I don't care about no sharpshooters I don't care about post scores slashers finishers are the most overpowered build one hop step hold the turbo button and press the, the dunk button you're going to dunk it or lay it in every time with a high success of 90 plus percent. It is too easy. Step back. Drive to the left. Drive to the right. Smash that turbo button. That dunk button. You're going to go off on a dunk. They are overpowered. Your badges doesn't mean anything. Something has to be fixed about these slashers. All right. Next, we're going to go into more of targeting certain skills. Layups gotta fix the layups there's no way I should be missing wide open layups my layup rating is over 89 and I have boost I'm consistently hitting what missing wide open layups because there's nothing to show me that hey you need to actually release it at this point there is no release point there is no perfect release points and with me I don't rock with the meter at all I hate the meter I like those extra you know percentages that I get from my extra shot so it's hard to time your layups. It does not matter. You already know when you get that funky animation where when you release it, it hasn't released the ball yet in the actual gameplay. You already know you're gonna miss it. We gotta fix those layups. I don't say I'm not saying tune it all the way up. You know, 
to do something with it. Turn the defense down a little bit. All right, next. Passing lane steals. Everybody should not be a damn Kawhi Leonard or Gary Payton or Paul George or Patrick Beverly. Every Bill having an opportunity to just snatch a ball out of the air is absolutely ridiculous. I would say a threshold of 75 and below, I think you should not be able to snatch a ball out of the air like that. I have seen too many builds that would snatch the ball out of the air with no damn defensive badges. No interceptor badges. Like, how is that even possible? Is that a glitch? I just need to know, is that a glitch, 2K? Because it's absolutely ridiculous. Need to fix the passing lane steals. People are smashing. I, I got so much. I, sorry, I, I have so much abundance of gameplay. Of people look like they're sitting there spazzing because they're tap. They're, they're they're spamming the damn steal button, and they're getting rewarded because guess what? Nothing happens to them. It needs to be if you're gonna spam the steal button, you should be losing. You should be losing actual energy. But every time you spam the steal button, 10 to 15 percent of your actual energy should be lost. And I guarantee you, some of these guys within the first two seconds will be dead, dead, damn tired. There's got to be some repercussion for somebody spamming the steal button. It's just absolutely ridiculous. You're, the, the needle threader is almost a pointless badge. All right, next we're gonna talk about the pogo stick. And we're going to talk about the Intimidator. Pogo Stick and Intimidator. Another one of those things where you can spam when it comes to that Pogo Stick. It doesn't matter what your defensive rating is. If you allow everybody to have at least a gold badge on a Pogo Stick, they're going to spam jump, jump up and down, jump up and down. That's just not cool. We need to fix that badge. I know these post scores out here are getting very upset when they get a good, a good post move, get a defender up in the air, and then go for an actual layup or a hook shot, and then there you go, somebody's right back in their face. And then we're talking about it's a point guard or a shooting guard, somebody that's a six or seven inches shorter that can actually get a good shot contest. We have to fix that pogo stick. It's a little overpowered. Intimidator. Now, I think this is why a lot of people miss layups and some of their easy shots because this Intimidator badge is a little bit... Uh, it's a little bit confusing because you would think this intimidator badge will help you in your shot contest when you're actually playing great defense but i have seen this intimidator badge pop up so many times when i'm not even close to the actual you know offensive player this badge has popped up for me when i even get a chance to get my hand up i can just run by them and the intimidator badge is flashing it's affecting them hell it'll be some times where i get a zero percent contest and the Intimidator Bash will still pop up when they miss the shot. So there got to be some middle ground with this, with this Intimidator Bash. It, it has to be some type of middle ground. We got to fix that. All right, what else can we talk about? My, my, my next wish list is some of the gameplay bugs. My speed is a 97. I have boost. Why is a damn center with a fucking 63 speed catching up to me on fast breaks? Why is a center outrunning me and can beat me down the court when I have chased down artists with my speed damn near 20 attribute points higher than him and he can make that layup successfully or beat me down there? There is no way that should be happening. We've been dealing with this all year. The speed of the big man is ridiculous. It's stupid. We got to fix that 2K got to fix that it is destroying the game when you can't catch a damn big man another thing let's fix the rate of steals against big man how can a big man come and run a ball full court and not lose it but me as a point guard me as a point guard with an 85 ball control lose the ball every time somebody just run and blow by me gotta fix that we have to fix that I'm tired of seeing paint beast and post scores go all the way full court dribble around behind the back spin moves 
and get to the basket. So I know what it is. What it is, you t you tune down the steals against big man because big man was crying about them getting ripped too easily in the post. Well, that's the name of the game. It's called skills. If you don't have the attributes, you shouldn't be able to fucking hold on to that ball. And I feel like there's something that's going on with the big man to so where it's hard to damn steal the ball. I have a 90, a 92 steal rating with boost, with all my Hall of Fame badges on pickpocket. And I can't take the ball away from a damn center. There's no way possible. There's got to be some correct balance in the game. There has to be. All right, next. Let's talk about the badges. The bad system. <sighs> I'm a little conflicted by it. I'm a little conflicted by the bad system. I, I feel like... These badges shouldn't be higher weighted than your attributes. These badges should not be higher weighted than your attributes. Now, what I'm saying is, if you don't have badges, let, let's let's say a sharpshooter. 96 rating, 95 plus rating when it comes to three-pointers. But just because he don't have any badges in his shooting field, it's just like he's a fucking... 55 Because you have to have badges to make a shot It shouldn't be that way Badges should help you Badges shouldn't be the, the end all be all If I want to make a build on day one and come out to the park And if I raise up my, my 3 point rating to 90 or 85 Whatever the case may be, 95 I should be able to make some baskets At a pretty good successful rate Because 95, the attribute should be higher weighted than the actual badges now, if we're going to use these badges, you need to call the badges for what they are. They are animation badges. It's just what they are. It doesn't matter how hard your attributes are. It does not matter how high your attributes are. If you do not have the badges, you just can't do this. You just can't do certain things. And it should not be that way. The skills should be tied into the attributes. If I'm over 90, I should be able to you know, shoot a longer range if i'm over 95 i get that fully unlimited range now if i put the badges on that helps me out a little bit more but it does it's, it's just not that way you have to have the badges the badges weigh too much the badges weigh too much they're animation badges for everything the pogo stick the pickpocket the interceptor all of it is animations quick feet Consistent fucking score. Like all of this stuff is just it's all animation badges. If I want to be able to chase somebody down from behind, I shouldn't have to actually put on a chase down artist to get a block from behind when I'm rocking a 95 overall damn block. Animation badges are what they are. We gotta fix that. Alright. Next thing. My wish list. Because the devs, y'all need to be y'all need to be more serious about this game. 2K21 has 2K21 has to be revolutionary. 2K21 has to be revolutionary. We're going into a new era where you got the uh, Xbox Series S and the PS5. It has to be a game changer. There is no way we should be coming back with the same part. Y'all got a freebie this damn time. <laughs> We're bringing back the same part and just throwing some themes on it. We're going to let that go because we almost shit to 2K21. But the park has to be different. And what I mean about the parks being different, bring back affiliations. If you bring back, affili if you bring back affiliations, I guarantee you 2K21 would be the biggest selling NBA 2K game. Easily. Everybody wants park affiliation. Ask. Do a poll. Everyone wants park affiliation. Everyone wants to have something they feel like they're 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 fighting for, or you know, or playing for when they're out in the actual park instead of a damn record. Bring back the park affiliations. I'm telling you, bring back that clan. I mean that that park versus park gameplay, those tournaments, those events. Shit was fun back then. Got to bring that back. Listen to your community. Debs, listen to your community. Because we are talking. We just need you to listen. 
It's not that hard to do some of the things that we're requesting because you did it before. You've been successful with it. I do not understand that some of these companies, when they're successful with something, they tend to go away from it. I don't know if it's because y'all lost personnel, uh, y'all lost devs, y'all don't have enough devs. I don't know. But look, the further you go in years, the better you should be getting. You should not be going backwards. Bring back the park affiliation. Have a mode for matchmaking. Take away, the, take away the records and you can take away the actual rep. Let's just make it fun again. Bring back the dribble moves. Bring back that 2K19 catch and shoot animation, man. I, I miss it. Fix these steals and these overpowered badges. Fix the layup system. Just care about this game. That's what we need you to do. I can go on and on for the next 10 to 15 minutes about what y'all can do. But I'm not going to do that. Because I know at this point, we're probably all dried out. But 2K21 needs to be a banger. It has to be a game changer. It has to be a game changer. Now, there are so many other things that I could have talked about doing this wish list. Which I did have more. But these are the main things that I think if you can improve, it'll make the game a whole lot better. Definitely, definitely make the game a whole lot better. So, like I said, hopefully at this point, y'all have already created 2K21. You know, there have been some rumors that, hey, there's some screenshots that's been released. There's some gameplay screenshots and so on and so forth. I mean, who knows? The devs said it's not true, but we know sometimes it's how, you know, devs and stuff do. We know that's what they do. But... I'm really looking for a banger in this 2K21. Because I, I I can't take another year of 2K going backwards, man. And I'm pretty sure everybody that's watching this uh, stream right now, excuse me, watching the uh, this recording, we can't take that. Hey, so if you're listening to this, make sure you put some things down in the comment, how you feel about some of the things I suggested. And some of the things that you would suggest. I know I missed a lot of stuff that we hit. <laughs> a lot of stuff. But those are the things that I really, really care about. And I really think they'll make the game better. So, put your comments at the bottom. What you feel like should be changed. What's your wish list? Alright, that's going to wrap up my show for this segment. And this is your host, the most. Mama Most, of course. And always, be easy. TV Take 7 Solid Family NSYNC Productions Looking in the mirror when I started out as Mamba most Most underrated pick of games rocking coast to coast Pulling up on competition rocking with the random This is my journey to the top and this shit is my anthem